to our top story now. If you're a regular watcher of local news, you know that every time the governor is in our area for an event or a news conference, we all bring it to you live. Well, today was going to be no different. Governor Ron DeSantis was in West Palm Beach this morning to sign a new law that impacts the way Florida conducts elections and collects votes. Yeah, the bill was controversial by itself, but it's the governor and the reason how he signed it that's drawing so much heat. It was an invitation-only event broadcast exclusively on Fox News Channel. That is drawing even more criticism. CBS 12's Danielle Wall was one of the reporters who was actually barred from attending the bill signing event. She begins our team coverage tonight in West Palm Beach with what happened. Well, this morning, CBS 12 news crews were here outside of this airport, Hilton, waiting for what we thought would be a regular bill signing for one of the governor's top legislative priorities. But at the last minute, we were told that we were not welcome. We were not allowed inside with or without our cameras. The governor's staff said this piece of state business was not open to the public or the media. I'm actually going to sign it right here. It's going to take effect. There you go. Bill is signed. A bill Governor Ron DeSantis called a top priority is now law, affecting every eligible Florida voter. Florida, your vote counts. Your vote right. is going to be cast with integrity and transparency. Transparency that didn't apply to the actual signing of the bill. There were no Florida reporters in the room to record the proceedings or ask questions afterward. No, yeah, no, for sure. The only media in a Fox News studio 1,200 miles away. The only members of the public, carefully chosen supporters. Yes, you had an RSVP. It was not um, publicized. We have the best governor in the country. Since we weren't allowed in, we tried to talk to the governor on his way out as he made a beeline for his SUV. He didn't stop to take questions. Governor, why the secrecy? Why don't you let the public see the signing of this bill? When he got to Panama City, another reporter asked about what happened here this morning. It was uh, live on national television um, on Fox and Friends, and we were happy to give them the exclusive on that. And a I Fox News Fox Channel exclusive for pay TV like Florida, subscribers Florida, only of the Florida governor Florida conducting Florida state business. From Florida. Signing an elections law he says he's proud of. Charlie Crist, the first Democrat to formally challenge DeSantis in the governor's woman. race, slammed the move on Twitter, saying he locks out the public and caters to Fox News. State Senator Tina Polsky called it shocking. The fact that you aren't even allowed in is truly terrifying to me. It's very authoritarian. And it's like we're creating a state news network. But Republican supporters like State Senator Gail Harrell, who stood behind the governor during the pay TV event, didn't see any problem with it. Well, I think that's the governor's option. And the bill is signed. And the fact that you're here and that you know that it's signed and people know that it's signed now, to me, is the important thing. Responding to concerns that many Florida voters were not able to watch that bill signing or get answers to questions that local press would have asked. The governor responded that Fox and Friends is available to millions of Americans, many of them here in Florida. Reporting in West Palm Beach, Danielle Waugh, CBS 12 News. Well, Florida's new voting law is also getting national attention. Critics are calling it restrictive, and it's already being challenged by a wave of lawsuits. CBS 12's Lexi Nall spoke to lawmakers on both sides of the aisle about what's in this bill and how these new rules will affect Florida voters. I'm currently standing in Representative Omari Hardy's district. Now, he was just one of the Democratic lawmakers who was not invited to today's bill signing. In fact, this bill passed without a single Democratic vote. But Governor Ron DeSantis says this will crack down on voter fraud. Governor DeSantis is among the first to praise Florida's smooth and fair 2020 elections, but he made no secret of the fact the bill he signed into law today was a personal priority, one he says will prevent voter fraud and keep our state ahead of the curve. Uh, we're going to make sure our elections are transparent um, and they're not being funded by special interests. Uh, we're also going to continue with voter ID, which is very, very important to make sure that you are who you say you are. Um, and we're also going to make sure that we don't have ballot harvesting. Just 
Just minutes after the signing ceremony, the NAACP and the League of Women Voters sued, claiming the legislation disenfranchises voters who cast their ballots by mail. The legislation does limit where drop boxes can be placed and requires monitoring when they're accepting ballots. It also limits who can drop off another person's ballot and requires voters to request mail-in ballots for each election. Hurdles State Representative Omari Hardy says make it harder for people to vote. The effect of this will be that folks who are working class, who can't get to a polling place between working hours, will have fewer opportunities to cast their ballots. Republican lawmakers defended these new rules. The deputy governor writing on Twitter that this will, quote, safeguard the sanctity of Florida elections. And State Representative John Snyder tells CBS 12 News this is a common sense way to tighten up election security. Election integrity and and the American public having confidence in our elections are critical. What do you say to those who feel that there really wasn't a problem with voter fraud here in the Sunshine State before? I'd say that good is never good enough in my book. A record 4.9 million Floridians voted by mail last year, and the majority of those ballots were cast by Democrats. For now, reporting in West Palm Beach, I'm Lexi Knoll, CBS 12 News.